I'm not a researcher. Um, I'm a um, graduate student in journalism, actually, uh, with the international reporting concentration. Um, so what I do with GCFSI is um, any communications work that needs to go through, um, that's my job. And so one thing I did back in March was um, we had what was called these student innovation grants, and I just updated where GCFSI um, funded different um, either classes or different um, groups of students and faculty from different universities, um, including um, University of Florida, Purdue, um, when getting in university in the Netherlands. Um, so my job was to um, um, interview the um, anyone from the group who was in charge of that, um, and then just put brief 200-word uh, updates for our uh, monthly newsletters. Um, so I'm going back much, and I do apologize because this was in March, so I'm just I just don't remember what I wrote. Um, but um, one of them, so from Purdue University, uh, we funded them to do a work on a hydroponics um, project, um, and it was with the uh, Village of Hope organization that operates a school and adult, adult training center in Haiti. Um, and uh, the students, uh, the, um, it was mostly graduate students, I believe, they um, um, tried to establish an agricultural system that could provide um, human foodstuffs for the school and practical training for the Haitian students in applied life sciences. Um, and uh, just the tr in agricultural training. Um, so that was one thing. And then um, University of Florida did something similar um, with hydroponic gardening, um, but focused in um, Kenya, uh, mostly in the Nai Nairobi area. Um, so it's just, um, so basically my job was to um, write um, what what they dictated to me, but make it in a way that um, anyone could understand it, get through the scientific jargon, um, and um, to make people care essentially. Because um, the GCFSI newsletters they get um, sent to all the other um, fellow to USAID and all the USAID. Um, um, higher Education Solution Network teams, um, which is eight universities, MSU included, but so it, it gets sent out to them as well. And though, those HESN labs, they also include um, Texas A&M, um, MIT, College of William and Mary, and others. So it's just a big um, sort of cohort. So just keeping everyone updated. And then um, each um, HESN lab has a focus on how to essentially prove the world and um, wow. MSU does gardening, <laughs> uh, not gardening, um, agriculture, excuse me, so, yep, yeah. not a researcher. Thank oh, you. <laughs>